Well, coming up next on Business Day, a conversation with the man behind the Price Waterhouse Coopers and Lybrand combination. We'll talk with James Shiro, chairman of Price Waterhouse. There was this private exchange with, with Jim and I where uh, it was very much like a marriage, where you we just taken the vows and that was, holy smoke, now we got to live together and make this work. Joining us now to discuss the advantages, the anticipated merger and uh, other issues is James Shiro, chairman of Price Waterhouse. And you are now going from being the smallest of the big six to the biggest of the big five, if you will. Why, why is that size <clears throat> necessary? Well, I, our merger was never about size. Uh, our merger was about being able to provide global services to our clients. Now, when we had a client that had a need in South America, we knew we had those capabilities in the marketplace, on the ground, that could deliver. We were all separate firms in, in over 100 countries. And so, think about how many different people were involved. So you had to get 100 firms working together. It was one of those rides where your adrenaline just kept you going where you were able to put in as many hours as you had to to get this thing done. I think it moved quickly from a little bit of trepidation to a lot of, yes, this is the right thing to do, let's do it. As hard as it was to get this pulled together and get through the regulatory issues and get through the votes and get through all of the identifying leadership and, and answering the questions, the hard work really came after. I almost became a diplomat you know, instead of a business person. I'm not sure where each firm would have been individually, but I, I am confident that we are much stronger now um, uh, as a result of the merger 10 years ago. I have every uh, reason to believe the next 10 years will be even better. Because um, if you think about it, we've been through more challenges in these 10 years probably than the, either firm went through 100 years before that.